going on everybody? It's your boy SB is the truck star and welcome back to another dancehall video to a tour and I wanna to make a dancehall trap beat from some samples of course. Um not really have the time for kinda of go from scratch right now, you know what I mean? So I'll put something together from some samples. We have most of the truck already in a samples and we don't rearrange it for kinda of more so the dancehall trap style, you know what I mean? The Empton music guys are six type of shit shop done them and them shit they saw um let's get into it uh i'll drag in the sample them first and then you just go through them so you can hear exactly what i'm going on. now use every sample i'm dragging but for the most part we don't use most of them the key is c major i bit c major i think so we see about that the tempo 100 um yeah well we figure out what the key once we get started still so let's um lower volume on the track them so we really um why you want him uh bust the headphone man we don't mix as we go along to for kind of um ease the um the volume problem you know what i mean if you don't really have too much of an issue volume wise while we are going we're going blending all the instrument them so this is everything so far I mean, like I said, we have most of the thing already. We just need to kind of dance all it up, if you get what I mean. Just, you know, spice it up, make it more dance hall trap or whatever. You know what I mean? So, let's um, color code all of them. So, let's go color selected gradient. We'll go from purple to blue. Uh, we don't get everything linked to the mixer. Control shift L. Um, another thing, most of the plugins I'm using in other video, I'm going to use from... Sonax, um, IK Multimedia, and um, probably Slate Digital. But I know the Sonax and the IK stuff, especially the Sonax EQ, or probably the Fab Filter EQ, a little bit, not a lot, but definitely the IK Multimedia stuff, but I want kind of get a little bit more familiar with them. Um, so let's get to what the first instrument, what the main instrument, so the piano. Cool. So what we do is we'll just filter out a little bit at the low end on that toy the Sonax EQ for that. Um, this to me is by far and away the most transparent, the most clean, the cleanest parametric EQ on the market anyway. I mean, it had no color, it had nothing at that. It's so just clean. Clean as fuck. Um, which is the reason why I like, really want to start kind of use it a little bit more. Um, and the fab filter is a pretty clean EQ too, but this is just silky. It's just, it's crazy. So I want to take out definitely some of the bass out of the piano. We definitely want to take out too much. So we'll change the curve to a, like a little bit of a, more of a curve, you know what I mean? And so we can keep some of the bass. That's cool. Let's blend the second instrument. All right, so we we'll have this. Because we have it and it's a, a wave file, you want to add movement to it, and I mean, you want to get it to kind of jump a little bit, kind of move around a little bit. And the perfect plugin for that is Panman. From Sound Tiles. So what we do is we've got basic pan, we've got Pendulum. And we're not going to make it go so far or we'll make it just bounce, you know, a little bit left and right. Or we'll make it move a little bit slower than that. Or we'll put it soft. Or we'll turn down the width. So we'll get, us, we'll get some movements. If we listen to it now. Now you have a little bit of back and forth as opposed to this. We're just in the middle, you know what I mean? If you play it with the piano.
perfect. Really like that. So on to the next instrument. So we're not going to mix the synth right now. We'll do the piano, the pluck, um, the bass, and the lead. Let me see what the lead sound like. All right. So we have a lead with a lot of bass in it. It have a lot of deep character to it. So we don't use the same sound as EQ. And this is how I'm say so EQ really shine to me. <laughs> Or do kind of the same type of curve, like a 18 dB per, and I'll roll off up to about 60, 65. Uh, 75, that sounds good. Listen to the top end on this EQ, yeah. Watch out. It's just clean. It's so like it's just. I mean, enough said here, man. Without the EQ, it's just somebody's EQ. You know, let's love it, yeah, man. Fuck it. <laughs> um, and then lastly, let's do the um, blend them. All right. So this lead, what we do is what kind of. Let's try something with it. Um, let's go back to sound ties. I'll go sound feel. I'll go micro pitch. Let's modulate this a little bit. So let's do it on micro pitch. All right, that's not going to work. Let's change that to wider. So what I'm going to do is more kind of get the sound a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. Without it. And I mean, just kind of get it out on the edge a little bit more. Let's play it with everything else. Let's turn off the, um, the synth. Almost is more use just the two of them in a clash. But I'll use the BS side chain the um side chain the lead. So let's bring up the Fab Filter Pro Q3. <laughs> I mean the Pro C2. And with our side chain the BS to this track here, so right click side chain to this track. Let's get rid of this. Set up the side chain. So now when the BS player, the lead I got ducked down. And allow the bass to kind of shine through. But we don't want it to noticeable. So let's bring this back to about seven. Let's go clean. Yeah, that's a lot better. You know, and then when the bass not play, you can definitely hear the lead just pop up and just come up on the top. So now, let's add the, the trap elements to it now. So let's get pattern one. Um, drag it in here, so. Let's bring this across to eight bar. And then let's start adding some drums. Yard vibes kit. Kick. Kick four. Let's get this trap snare. Actually, we'll lay up a snare and a clap. Something mono. Just something small and just, you know, right in your face. Let's turn on this.
let's bring in the trap snare. Let's bring in two of them. So we have the that. So I'll put this at the right there. So. And we'll do the, the classic. It's like a Zetoven really kind of popularized this. So I'll call it the Zetoven um, snare bounce. them yeah link them to the mixer let me see we'll mix as we go along so let's bring down the kick we'll keep the clap on kind of the same level as the kick with the two snare and they'll bring down and up on one look a bit right one look a bit left and then we'll side chain the kick to the to the bass so I can kind of get the same type of feeling I have with the lead. So let's um, go for filter again. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Kick. What I want to do is also add a lot of um, reverb to this, um, what I want to name here, EQ, let's go, reverb, SP 2016, <laughs> to the pluck, I add um, like a big reverb to the pluck for kind of get, let's change this, let's load up a preset, I'm going to create out of the airspace, let's turn on the high frequency, boost the mid range, let's increase the decay to like five, six seconds. I will push it back so it's far. Um, let's change this right there. So to a reverb. Purple. Now we'll send the pluck to it. And the pluck have a lot of reverb on it. So it kind of sound really um, roomy, roomy, spatial. You know what I mean? Without the reverb. They already have some reverb on it, but if you listen to it, no, lot bigger. Add a high hat, one more this or add a plugin from Waves called It's called Bro Motion. And we'll just left it on the default preset for right now, but we'll change it in a second. So uh, like we have the volume already done, let's listen. Let's bring that down a little bit more. Alright, cool. So let's draw in a pattern. A note. Let's go third note. Mm. 
third north. So now I'll go back to the mix and open up the bra motion and I'll show you what I don't know. So if you listen to the hi hat, notice how it's a move around, right? So if I load up a preset now, if we go in a Dave Pensado, I think actually going to Maserati, let's go back around. You know I mean, I can hear how it's a move. You know? So let's find a good preset. So you can hear it and move around the headphones, it's just cool. Um, so let's load Sonax EQ. And we'll do literally a high pass, low pass. Last would I put a limit upon it. L2 from waves. If you keep the, the volume, because that's one of the changes when you add the bra motion, it modulates the volume as well. So let's bring this up to about minus nine. And then, yeah, so the volume kind of stay at one solid, consistent level. I'm uh, bringing in a um, open hot. Let's close that. On the flan. I use that one. New channel. I'll put that everywhere. Let's link that. Let's bring down the volume. And then let's send it to the reverb. This is sound I know is two things or EQ it and then we'll add some movement to it. So the other thing called ball bones. So you can see it a bounce run on either side. Or turn that, or make that a um, little bit softer, but we'll uh, turn down the rate at which it abounds. So now I want it fully wide to either side, but we we'll definitely want the, the rate to come down at which it abounds. So I'll go bar, and we'll go two bar, actually a bar. Hmm? 
Probably can't increase that. So let's go bar. Let's go two. Can can. Let's listen. Let's add some volume to this. Um, so on the master channel, let's go. Logo EQ is the Sonax again. Right after we we'll add a bus compressor from Plugin Alliance, BX Stones in house bus compressor. And after that, we'll add the J thirty seven T machine. So this is like my stereo mix down bus. This is how I pan every single rhythm before it gets export to mastering. So let's turn this on. Let's turn this back to 36. Let's turn this on and let's switch this to 36. Um, for this one, I would all do the frequency 19850. For the frequency 1. Nine eight five zero, and then for the lower frequency without a thirty one point five hertz. So without the EQ, sorry about that. Just listen to how the bass kind of come forward when we turn on the EQ. The reason for that is because I clear up all of the mud when we cut out all of that. So now for the bus compressor, we do put the ratio 4 to 1, attack 30 millisecond release, fastest release as possible. Um, we'll put the makeup gain at zero and we do dial in until we get about 2 to 3 dB of compression. So, so far, the two things I'll put on the master. Cool. Then, if we turn on the tape machine now, and we'll load up the preset, mastering fat, tight, and open. Notice it bring in the noise. We'll put this on minus 22. Just like that. So we're now turn it off completely, but we are bring it down. We'll add a little bit of saturation, about two and a half. Um, and then now, if we listen to the whole mastering without the tape machine, listen to how the tape machine kind of open up everything and add like some ear in between. With it, notice how everything kind of just come forward even more. shit crazy so that's it for the pre-master so that's all we don't put upon it for right now let's go ahead and um arrange this um this thing here so firstly let's 
um, the F tool, the key for this I see major. Let's do that. Let's copy all of this stuff off of the channel there. Insert a new channel. Paste everything. And then split. Hold on. Group cut. Yes, that's pattern one. Uh, so that I see major. So let's do that. Yeah, for whatever reason, there's some channel in between the two channel them. Um, no, no, make. But that's C major. That's pattern one. All right, cool. So let's we'll split this. I'm gonna grab my tag while I'm at it. I'll put that on track 25. Right click, select file, producer tags. Alright, cool. Let's drag in all of the um, kicks and all of that shit. Lock the content while I do that. Um, let's drag these over to nine. Let's drag out the lead, the other lead, and the base to nine as well. I'll put this here so. Without bringing this a lead here so. I'll take it back out. I will left the piano in for the first part of the verse. Well, so let's get the producer tag, turn this down, and then bring reverb to it. Well,
you know what I mean? Simple dance hall trap, straight to the point. From a sample, you understand? Till next time, it's your boy, it's me, Truckstar. Peace.